every Muslim is supposed to believe in Jesus. And to deny Jesus is as if to deny Islam. All the prophets of God, we believe in them. We believe in all the prophets of God and Jesus is mentioned many times in the Quran. His name is mentioned about 25 times and he is also called the Masih. Isa ibn Maryam al-Masih. Masih is the same word that is, trans is from in the Hebrew language called Messiah. And in the Greek language it is called Christos or Christ. So that Jesus is called 11 times in the Quran al-Masih. And there is no other person who is called Masih except Jesus. Even though other prophets are given the same different names, similar names as Jesus. But the person who is called al-Masih is only Jesus, peace be upon him. So al-Masih, the Messiah. His mother is highly honored and his virgin birth is recognized that he was born miraculously. So virgin birth of Jesus is mentioned in the Quran. Quran also mentions the miracles of Jesus and says that God gave Jesus a special message and this message is called Injil which is uh, called in English language gospel. Actually the word Injil is very similar to the Greek word Evangelium. So Injil and Evangelium is similar words and English translated as gospel. Uh, he had many honorable names. Jesus has many titles in the Quran. The first and the foremost of course Abdullah, the servant of Allah. And prophets are called in many places in the Quran servants of Allah. And the servant of Allah, my brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, servant of God is not an insignificant term. It's a high term in the Quran. When a person is highly praised, called the servant of God. So take it in that sense. Uh, he is also called the prophet. And Nabi. He is called the messenger, Rasul. Both of these names are given to Jesus, prophet and messenger. He is called the word of God. Kalimatullah. Kalimatuhu. His word. God's word. And by that it means is that his birth was in a special way. The word, the command of God came through angel and was given to Mary and this is the way how was he was conceived. So he was given that title. He is also called a spirit from God. Ruh Min. This is another title of Jesus. That is a spirit from God. Uh, doesn't mean a spirit here is not means life. So there is a distinction between Hayat and Ruh. Hayat, life is of course with God. God's life is with God. But Jesus is not God's life. Jesus is a spirit from God. A spirit is a different word. And the Quran has used this word even for angels. Uh, Gabriel is called the spirit. A ruh. Ruh al-Qudus. So Jesus is a spirit from God. That means he is he's created by God through this is a special word. Through this special spirit that was sent to God. That is the angel was sent. He is called the honorable one. Wajih fi dunya wal akhirah. He is the honorable one in this world as well as in the hereafter. He is called sign of God. Ayatam min. A sign from God. And he is called rahmatam minna. A mercy from us. So he is a sign of God's mercy. God's love to the world. Allah says rahmatam minna. A mercy from us. He is called those who are brought close to God. Wa min al from among those who are, who are drawn nigh to God, closer to God. And he is called the Messiah, as I mentioned before, 11 times in the Quran. And this title is used exclusively for Jesus, Al-Masih. Now the story of Jesus is told in the Quran in a number of places. This is the style of the Quran. You will not find in the Quran uh, stories are told in complete way in any in place, but segments of the stories are told here, segments of the story told there, just to draw some lessons, to give, to inspire people, to motivate them. And this is the way how the story is. But you can put them together and you can make a consistent story out of that. So the birth of, uh, first of all, uh, his mother is mentioned. Even the birth of his mother is mentioned in the Quran. Because Mary has a very high place in the Quran. She called Maryam. 
And there is a whole surah in the Quran called by that name, surah number 19. It's called Surah Maryam. So even the birth of Mary is mentioned, even her early life is mentioned, her piety is mentioned in the Quran. Something you do not find in the New Testament, but you find that in the Quran itself. Quran speaks about that. Uh, so she, had a, she was a very pious woman. She lived a very pious life. She dedicated her life to the service of the house of God, the place of worship, sanctuary. And there she was, the angel appeared to her and gave her the good news. She was surprised, she did not, uh, she, she said, how can I have a child? Because she was not married, she was a virgin, but it was said to her, this is God's decision. Eh? This is the, the decision of God, and then she accepted that, but still she was in pain. How she's going to face the people, what people will say to her. So this is mentioned in some detail. I cannot go into more details, but you can look at that. There are references are already there in the Quran. But then Quran speaks about the message of Jesus. Because that's the most important thing is, what was the message of Jesus? The message of Jesus was not very different from the messages of other prophets of God. Basically the same message. That is, he came to teach people Tawheed. Inna Allah Rabbi wa Rabbukum fa'abudu. The Quran says,